number nine. Write the equivalent log equation. This is exponential equation. And in log, this is the base, base seven, that goes down here. The answer to a log is always the exponent. So the exponent in this case is 2.3. So then this x goes here. Let's see, log, the base is here, that's the base, so that goes here, base. The answer to a log is the exponent, so that would be the one-third, so the two goes here. Log base two of eight is, log base eight of two is one-third. That means eight to the one-third is two, and that's a good way to verify that. Now we're going the opposite. We're going from log to log, equation to exponential equation. This looks like this. This is a good trick to use. That means 3 to the fourth power, 3 to the exponent of 4, is equal to 81. And that that is correct. 8 to the t is equal to m. That's exponential notation. We're going to use that same Thing to help us solve here. So this means x to the third is equal to 64. Now we take the cube root of both sides to get x by itself. So that means x is cube root of 64, which is 4. Let's do something like that again here. This means 16 to the x power is 4. Let's change 16 to be a base 4. That means 4 to the second power. So this is 4 to the 2x is equal to 4. I skipped a step here. Let's uh, go back. We're going to change 16 to have a base 4. So that's 4 squared to the x power. Okay. So this is x to the n to the m is equal to x to the n times m. This is the rule. So that's what I did here. I multiplied 2 by x, and that's how I got to this. Now, this is understood to have an exponent of 1. When there's no exponent, it's understood to be 1. So that means 2x is equal to 1. So x is 1 half, and that's the answer. Here, simplify log base h of h to the third. These cancel each other out, and we just get 3. This is one of the properties of logs. Log base b of b to the x gives us x. Because this is saying b to what exponent is b to the x? Well, b to the x is equal to b to the x. <laughs> Same thing here. The rule, these two cancel each other out, and we just get t. The rule is b to log base b of x is x. As long as these two are equal to each other, they cancel each other out. This means th this is b to what exponent is x. Let's call that exponent anything you want to call it, say y. Then we turn around and we raise b to that exponent. Well, we're going to get x. Okay. Um, right as a single log, we're condensing. So we're going to use three properties. Let's write those three properties here. The first property is the product property that log base, any base of x times y expands into log of that base of x plus log of that base of y. This is called the product rule. Then the quotient rule is log base b of x over y. This turns into a subtraction, subtraction of two logs. And then the third one is log base b of x to the n. The n comes to the side and it becomes a product. This is the power rule. So we can multiply, and instead of raising x to the n, then taking the log, we can take the log and then multiply it by n, by that exponent. So this becomes, we're going to use the power rule first. So this is product 
this is quotient and this is power rule. We're going to use the power rule and take this one half and give it as an exponent to a. So this is log base a to the one half. Now let's remember that x to the n over m give a hoot, it's the power over the root, so this becomes the exponent and m is the root, it's the power over the root. So a to the one half is the square root of a. This is a little reminder. Okay, these are reminders. Okay, so because this is understood to be a one and the index is understood to be a two, so that's just square root of a. We're going to do the same thing with the three halves. We're going to take that and give it as an exponent to c. So this becomes log base b of c to the three halves. And then same thing for this one, the 4 becomes the exponent of d. So that's log base b of d to the fourth. So now we're going to use convert these to radical form. So as we said, this is radical A. This is radical C cubed because the 2 is the index and the 3 is the exponent. And this is the same thing that it was before. So we have a combination of addition of two logs and a subtraction. So we're going to have a product and a quotient. These three logs are going to become one log, one log base b. The addition, is all the additions, will go in the numerator as multiplication. So since we're going to multiply radical a by radical c cubed, we could put both of them under the same radical, since the index are the same, and we're multiplying. And then for this, that becomes a division. It's a quotient, so that goes in the denominator. Any negative will become, will go in the denominator as a product in the denominator, and any positives will go up on the top. So that's our answer. Let's do the next one. Here we are expanding. We're doing the opposite. So we're going to have two logs and they both have a base 10 because when there's no base it's understood to be a common log which means base 10. We're going to have two logs, it's going to be a subtraction because we're using the quotient, this is a quotient. So this is m squared, the m goes here, the squared we're going to put it down here as a product um, so that would be considered expanded. And then the n doesn't have an exponent, so it just stays there. 